Hello Dicers, my dream chasers, welcome back to Dice the Sides. So, uh, this is not Amigle. <laughs> I decided to go and chat roulette, because Amigle doesn't work for me, so... <laughs> I gotta meet, I wanna meet people somehow. <laughs> How's it going? How are you? Hello, bro. What was that? How are you? I'm good, how are you? Huh, what are, what are you doing, bro? What'd you say? I said, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just looking at someone to talk to. Where are you from? I live in Norway. Oh. Alright. Are you student? You're from Pakistan? Yes, bro, I'm from Pakistan. That's cool. Never been. I like your hat. Yes, yes, right. What's your name, bro? Uh, my name is Thomas. Thomas. Nice name, bro. Nice. Yeah, what's your name? Sad. Sad. Okay, nice to meet you. How are you doing today? I'm, I've been la lazy. What about you? Lazy? Oh, okay. Yeah, um... Yeah, I've been lazy lately too. Um, uh, been trying to be more productive. Um, yeah, it's not, yeah, I got it. I got it, but sometimes it it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, it's it's hard to motivate yourself sometimes, but you know what? Sometimes it's... I don't feel like you know talking because it's it's way too much. <laughs> so today I'm. I'm struggling with that. Like I can't speak English fluently, but I don't know what's going on tonight. So I can't pick those words in my mind. You know what so, I mean? Yeah. You're not finding the right words. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think practice makes perfect. So you're on here practicing your English. Mm -hmm. And also like talk, talk to some strange people. Yeah, me too. Um, I used to go on a site called Omegle, but it doesn't work for me anymore. Oh, Omegle is the worst. Is it? <laughs> yeah, but it's like showing their dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, how are you? Oh, oh shit, it's like a radio voice. <laughs> you like my microphone? Oh, shit, it's, it's very fucking beautiful, the microphone. Thank you. Yeah, it's a good one. Oh, you are a YouTuber. Uh, yeah, how did you know? Yes, your face is telling everything. <laughs> <laughs> my face, just my face. <laughs> did I am uh, in YouTube? I am now in YouTube live. Uh, it's not live. It's a video. I can post it if you want. If you wanna post your video, post your video. I don't. Uh, okay. It's like, I don't. Uh, I don't care. You put. You okay. put the live. You put the video. Yeah, because because some people are like very private. They're like, no, don't post me. Whatever, you know. We're gonna everybody ce celebrate uh, for uh, what's your name? My name is Thomas. Yes, we're gonna everybody celebrate with uh, my friend Thomas. You celebrate from Norwich to Algeria to yes. North Africa. Yes. <laughs> Everybody is so fucked up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> we are Algerian. We are, we are so fucked up people. <laughs> Every Algerian people funny, crazy, talk shit, uh, smoking shit, drink yeah. shit, and they uh, very religion, very careful. They, everything and everything in uh, this fucking Algeria. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> doesn't sound too bad. Yes, if you're gonna put this video, it's you're gonna be so fucking uh, up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If Algerian okay. people are watching me, you're gonna <laughs> be fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's uh, the name of your channel? Maybe it's called uh, Dice Decides. I can type it in. There's a chat, right? Um, What's it's called, the name? Uh, Challenge, challenge. Yeah, just like that. Is it? Dice, dice it. Ah, dice okay. decides. Yeah. Dice decides. Ah, okay. With the, with the money. 
Oh, gambling. <laughs> okay, maybe I don't gamble. Are, maybe you are uh, playing this game. It's like uh, this. This is the face. Okay. And this is the number. Yes, like heads and tails. And yeah. you, uh, that's it. And yeah. you put it to the sky and you play. Gamble. You gamble. Ah, okay. Um, so it's like 50 chance to win and 50 chance to lose how much money do you bet everybody in algeria look i bet on this <laughs> how much is that <laughs> i don't fucking know it's like uh, it's like in uh you you in norwich uh, you with the uh, euro you uh well we use crowns but i understand uh, how much euros are worth yeah it's like 100 euro it's almost 100 euro. This. I oh, everything you. you're holding? Okay, okay. This. 100, almost it's 100, almost okay. 100 okay, okay. <laughs> you just gamble yes. all of that. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> uh, you, you, the, the channel uh, of you is the name. Dice decides. Uh, you choose the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can gamble, yeah. you know, like. Uh, Choose any number. If you get it, you get a thousand. You get a, like a hundred euros. <laughs> like... Yeah, <laughs> I take I take three, three, and I yeah. I am choosing it's uh, four. <laughs> it's like oh, okay. Don't you? Okay, it's one. So none of us win. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> a dice is safer than a coin. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's the same way, yeah. I like it. Uh, <laughs> no, you need, you need, you need to gamble. You need to. That, no, no, no. <laughs> Your country is a brand new membership of NATO. Okay. Uh, uh, what's your attitude about this? I didn't know about that. Uh, but um, I think that's know? okay. I mean, I knew it's a part of NATO. I didn't know it was a new member. Why? Norway, Finland, and Sweden. It's a new memberships to of NATO because of Russian aggression to Ukraine. Oh, okay. I mean, Russia is in a crisis because of the special operation. <laughs> uh. Special military operation. Yeah, yeah, yeah that one. <laughs> That's why uh, I think Western countries shouldn't afraid of russia russian uh, uh, why because army. russia can then like explode random place like they might nuke like kiev or something this nuclear power will not work how do you know i will give you a guarantee <laughs> i don't know because their tanks work so kind of <laughs> this is so old well it's just can uranium i don't think it i don't think it like degrades i still think it works no i don't think bombs have an expiration date it will not fly oh they can just put it on a rocket <laughs> but how many nato's countries have a nuclear power in one russia nato well, nato nuclear power uh, nuclear weapons and uh russia nuclear weapon from ussr yeah but it's still a nuke a nuke is a nuke <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work it doesn't work. how do you know have you have you seen the bomb um you 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 told me that uh this weapons from 14s it could and be from the we, 40s we, or... we calculate it's about uh 80 years <clears throat> 80 years, yeah. I didn't think uh, bombs had an expiration date. Uh, no. Well, there you go, it does work. Uh, they don't change and uh, they don't change the old weapon to the new weapon. Okay, well, it's an old bomb, but it's still the old bombs exploded Nagasaki, Hiroshima, old kind of bombs. They do a lot of damage still. Uh, in Nagasaki and Hiroshima, it was the brand new uh, nuclear. 
Well, yeah, but that that's the nukes they had in the 40s. I know that was United States, but like that's still that time period. Yeah, but so, in that time it was the brand new bomb. Yeah, but, but it doesn't matter what's the brand new Russia now. Russia have a 80s year weapon. But a nuke is a nuke. It still did a lot of damage in Japan at the time. So it's still bad for society. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, How much is your mic worth? Like 10,000 or something? Oh, um, I think it's just like 100 euros or something. Nah, 180. Bro, this shit looks like more worth <laughs> than my liver, man. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. But people said it's a good sound quality. Yeah, yeah, you live? I live. Um, I'm making a YouTube video. It's on YouTube. It's called uh, Dice Decides. <laughs> if you can't tell, my brand is Dice. What? Oh, like... Uh... Oh, what, like one to six? Yeah. Give me the five. It's a five right now. Come on, man. It's a five, bro. It's a five. It's a five. Oh, you can't see it. <laughs> is it? It's a four. Fuck that. So I Close enough. Loser now. Well, you can try again. It's a two. Okay, I'm gonna guess three. It now it's a five. That's it's just a bit delayed from the first time. Fucked up, man. What, uh, yeah. Which cam do you use, bro? It's incredible, man. I like. Uh, oh, you like it? It's the quality, a quality quality slam, man. It's perfect. It's the Sony A7S three. Mm -hmm. Nice, man. Yeah. A lot of viewers on Twitch is really hard, except you have someone like who make some nice clips for you and so on. Like, yeah, it's, very it's like you, yeah, you gotta hire someone, I guess. <laughs> Brother, you need, you always. Um, today, this Twitch shit is not uh, only gaming. It's who got the best clips, who make the like craziest shit, who screams yeah, yeah. the loudest. And yeah, I think like making shorts is a good idea because people have such a short attention span these days. So it's just like yeah, people has and they all have ADHD. They they can't focus yeah, yeah. on things like they always need videos like four to ten seconds, man. Oh yes, man, that's the yeah, <laughs> counter ADHD. Yeah. I hope I see myself in your video, man. <laughs> all right, you will. <laughs> Peace out, bro. Is your mic working? Yeah, I can't hear you. <laughs> Yo, can you hear me? Hey, you fixed it. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> so much goddamn effort, bro. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go kill myself now. <laughs> Man. I went to settings, microphone, the default is the MacBook Pro microphone, but you need to click on MacBook Pro microphone built in. Wow. Okay. That's confusing. <laughs> what a trip, bro. What a trip. Yeah, man. All right, yo. So you can hear me, man, right? Yeah, I'm mean, very good now. How's it going, bro? How old are you? Uh, 29. Same, bro. Cheers. Hey. We're old as fuck, bro. Heck yeah, man. We're dinosaurs, bro. Yeah, bro. What state you're from? Uh, uh, California. Oh, nice. There go. Uh, that's cool. What about you? Uh, I live in Norway, but I've lived in Cali as well. Oh, did you? We're in Cali. I lived in uh, way, LA. Uh, anyone who says Cali isn't from California. Well, there you go. Oh, yo, yo, well, yo. I have lived there. Just a, just a pro tip. Don't say Cali. Say California. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> no, nobody from California says Cali. Okay, okay. That's good to know. But considering I'm not from California, I can say Cali. <laughs> there you go. I mean, like, people will say, like, oh, 9 11 is a conspiracy. Like, you know. Like, <laughs> Inside up? <laughs> you know, jet fuel can't melt steel beams. Like <laughs> Do you have money to invest? Um, I have invested. Uh, I doubled my money with Tesla.
because it was like in the dip in the winter. That's exactly when I spent all my money on it. Oh, nice. And I sold it in the summer. Beautiful. It was, it was beautiful. I paid off my student debt with that. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, bro. That's fucking yeah. awesome. Is there any uh, political controversy going on in uh, in Norway, just generally? Absolutely, definitely. Right now, there's a whole scandal. Um, so, it's about our old state minister. She's not anymore, but she was for eight years from 2013. Uh, that's when she became state minister, and now. Apparently, during her time, her husband was uh, trading in the stock market. He was buying stocks that were mostly owned by the state. So he had inside information. So he could buy it when it was cheap, right before the state bought a huge amount of shares. And that's when he made a profit. So apparently, well, his wife ex-state minister leaked some information and now it's just this whole scandal people like interviewing her and it's like she, she's like uh, blah 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 didn't even know it's like it's just it's crazy it's like all over the news everyone's talking about it it's such a simple it's just so, I mean, it's so silly how like simple that shit is you know yeah right <laughs> I mean the funny thing is if you go to uh, uh, the American Congress and track their returns like congressional representatives their returns beat wall street beat normal americans by i don't know how many percent but like really yeah dude they congressional <laughs> members all beat every kind of expectation holy crap dude <laughs> just blatant like nancy pelosi is maybe the greatest stock stock trader on the planet because uh if you assume she doesn't have uh inside information she's making beautiful trades based on uh, <laughs> something that's going to happen in the news the next day but it's like don't they have to like disclose their trades if they, they're in congress they do but I, honestly like i'm not someone to talk about this because i'm i don't <laughs> i don't know the technical details yeah but if you there's a great website called propublica that tracks congressional stock trades and their returns versus like the S&P five, uh, 500 and versus uh, major, you know, capitalists like Warren Buffett or big hedge funds like Black, uh, BlackRock or whatever. Uh, they're big. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the congressional members always make out better. Oh. What? I had no idea. <laughs> dude, 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 it's right in front of our eyes. I mean, <laughs> You, you don't have to take my word for it. You can type in ProPublica right now and type in ProPublica Congressional Stock Trade Returns. Okay, despite their influence and extensive access to information, members of Congress can buy and sell stocks with few restrictions? Well, <laughs> it's kind of weird because it's like, how are they going to get restrictions if they lobby the lawmakers? <laughs> and they are the lawmakers, right? Basically, yeah. <laughs> But like, so you guys don't have like a scandal about this. It's just like hidden articles about it. That's it. Um, yeah, man. Welcome to America. Yep. <laughs> yeah, read it out loud. Uh, although Jeffries did not make any trades in 2021. Yeah, huge uh, kind of like uh, equity fund. <clears throat> Pelosi was one of the top traders in Congress who beat the S&P 500 in notable trade, unusual whales reported. Unusual US... whales is a uh, synonym for uh, insider congressional traders, but go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, the U.S. Army first announced a 
22 billion dollar augmented reality deal with Microsoft on March 31st, 2021 and reiterated its commitment to this partnership in October. Speaker Nancy Pelosi disclosed exercising 150 calls on Microsoft on March 19th, 2021 at a strike price of $130. She is up 160%. So let's guess. Do you think that Nancy Pelosi... Well, okay. Fair game. Maybe Nancy Pelosi made a great call and said, I'm going to essentially allow my shares to, to trade at $160 a price uh, two weeks before that announcement. Or maybe she had some kind of insider information. This doesn't make any sense because they use like the people's tax money to skyrocket the stock price. <laughs> But they invest in the stock right before they do that. Yo, I like that you make me fucking find the evidence of this. <laughs> no, no, okay, I really that's... do, bro. I actually really do. Yeah, it's great. Because a lot of people just say shit and, like, it's hard to argue with them. Because... Yeah, yeah, if you can just, like, yeah, check you, out this link. You have to believe them or whatever. You know, honestly, I think this shit is so far beyond me. I don't even understand it. Let's yeah. <laughs> I mean, what the hell yeah. is a strike price? I don't know. What yeah, exactly. Because it's not a, it's not saying share price. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, 150 calls. What is that? She owns yeah. the ability to make sure someone pays her back. Oh, a strike price is the predetermined price at which the buyer and seller option agree on a on a contract or exercise a valid and unexpired option. Okay, so I guess here's what here's my best guess. She has 150 calls, which means she owns 150 shares of Microsoft. Yes. From some other third party. She bought 130 a share, and she bought 150 shares. So she bought for 19,000, and then she went up 160%. So she actually uh, had 31,000 at the end. So 31 I got from 19,000, I timed it by. 1.6, which is 160%. She went so up that much. She had 150 shares at... At $130 per share. Okay. I did 19,000 times 1.6, which is 160%. Hi, Dice from the future here. <laughs> so apparently I misunderstood what calls mean in this context. So I asked ChatGPT about it. So I asked, but making 150 calls, does that mean buying 150 shares? Because that's what I thought initially. I want to make sure I don't misunderstand something. Because something seemed off about everything to me, so I was wondering. So GPT said no. Making 150 calls does not mean buying 150 shares. In financial terminology, making a call typically refers to purchasing call options, which are a type of financial derivative contract. Call options give the holder the right, uh, but not the obligation to buy a specific number of shares of a stock at a predetermined price, the strike price, before a specified expiration date. So there's a date on all the call options that, so that they do expire. But yeah, she could, when it's mentioned yeah, in the article that she exercised 150 calls on Microsoft on that date at a strike price of 130. So it means she exercised 150 call options contracts, each of which allows her to buy a certain number of Microsoft shares at a price of 130 per share. And so it's also saying that typically 100 shares per contract for most standard options. That's the usual case. So if she used all the 150 call options, because they all represent the right to buy 100 shares each, so she would have the potential to buy 15,000 Microsoft shares. And uh, let's do some quick math again. <laughs> so let's see. Right, so she bought 15,000 Microsoft shares at the price, at the strike price of 130. She spent $2 million, basically, on buying that. And then the price rose. Uh, the article said it was she was up by 160%. So we can just times this by 
1.6 because that's 160. Well, that's actually, that would be a 60% increase, but th this is a great way to get straight to the profit because uh, you can just discard the 100% because that's, that's how much she spent. So if you want her profit, you just do, so we have 160%. She went up by that much. So minus 100% is a profit of 60%. Just times it by 1.6 and you get $3.1 million profit. She made that much. <laughs> if she sold it when the article was written. That's how I understand it. And that makes a lot more sense. She made quite the profit there. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thought I'd just explain it. Uh... Good fucking math, bro. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel you. Oh, yeah. And I think you take my point into consideration there, whether it's a dollar, it's a hundred dollars. Yeah, exactly. It's our tax money. I mean, I don't even care that you're from a different country. I mean, the same scandal is happening here. So it's like we're affected in the same way. Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, I think that, to be honest, this is another conspiracy theory. Uh, her husband is a massive, like, Wall Street trader, and he's benefited massively from insider knowledge. I don't know that for a fact. Um, I'm speculating here. That sounds just like our situation. <laughs> but uh, it seems likely. Yeah. How is your situation? It's exactly the same. I mean, the husband is like a big trader and apparently he's made Oh, over... I did read about this. It's over 3,000 trades over eight years. So I did the math. It's about two trades daily because you can't trade on the weekends. So it's like, it's insane. AI at this point is mostly a way to like somewhat plagiarize um, either factual and non-factual information. And they're, they're really good at coagulating it and making it feel nice and compact and neat. But yeah, yeah. you can't trust anything that, uh, you know. Oh yeah, for sure. It definitely like dreams of facts and come like says that, oh, this is correct. And it's you, like, you Google it, it's like, it's not even close. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I, I read Warren Buffett's book, by the way. He talks about passive investments, right? Yeah. Putting your money into index funds and letting the American economy build wealth for you. Fine. That's essentially his 500-page book condensed into two sentences. <laughs> oh, you got to read Noam Chomsky, man. Noam Chomsky is profound. Do you know Which who, book? Do you know who Noam Chomsky is? Um... Actually not. I don't think I've heard of him. Chomsky is. There are a lot of geniuses when it comes to mathematics or physics or something that's math, you know, something that can be mathematized. I know you're getting fed up with me, but it, <laughs> it's fine. It, uh, it's, it's because people are unpredictable and Noam Chomsky is someone who's very good at predicting people. So what, what would you say your biggest insight was because of him? a good fucking question <laughs> well the first the first insight is to uh the way you're you're taught right yeah like programmed by the school and stuff right he always had this kind of theory which actually goes back to john dewey saying that uh education shouldn't be something that you i don't know you give your students a sheet to memorize and one week or one day before the exam everyone memorizes it and then we all forget it right after the exam. yeah exactly it's not education the point. no <laughs> no chomsky said education is more about discovery and allowing people to kind of channel their creative insights into oh what are you interested in oh maybe you're discovering something new okay let them all know that you know what i'm saying yeah, let them explore it. Noam Chomsky went to a really progressive school in uh, 
in Philadelphia that uh, allowed the students to do that. And he didn't, Noam Chomsky didn't know that he was a genius until he went to uh, UPenn. And he realized like all these uh, undergrad courses weren't for him. And he was just like, yo, this, he, he almost dropped out of school. He was like, yo, this, this shit's kind of not for me. I feel, like I feel like I'm sucking his dick too much, man. <laughs> and he he would hate that shit. He would hate that shit. Oh, you kind of lag there. <laughs> Sorry, bro. 